my kings and queens welcome back to my channel for episode number 33 i think it is right okay 33 of the single father challenge what single father challenge so just fyi if i sound a little bit of stuff um i am just getting up out of bed and i don't know why but when i woke up my nose was extremely stuffy and i really don't know what's going on it's probably allergies because my eye is still swollen if you didn't watch my face cam video basically throughout that entire video my eye was swollen and i look like a cyclops okay wasn't loving it bobo but anyways, so we are aging up Mr. Josiah here, and I'm extremely excited. Like, I have been waiting so long for him to age up, almost as long as I've been waiting for Audrey to age. So anyways, we're going to let our Mr. Sir age up here. He's so cute. Oh my God, I don't want to see him go, my baby. Lord Jesus, please don't age. Can you just stay that age forever? Like, don't leave me, okay? So as soon as he ages, we are actually going to get him and Audrey moved out, which I am extremely sad about. I don't want to see them go. Like, can you just please stay that age forever? Like, don't leave mama, okay? And dad over here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go and create a sim and show you guys what Josiah looks like. I'd like to introduce you guys to the grown-up Josiah. Now, one of you said that you would love to see one of our kids either be bisexual or gay or lesbian, um, but I, I really do like that idea. I think it's really great, and I'm really excited. I can't wait. I don't know exactly who it's going to be, um, and I, you know, I want to kind of let it flow. And in, in all honesty, I would have let it be Josiah, but um. As I said, I want it to flow and I want to feel like, you know, one of the kids would be a really, really, you know, good, you know, you know, you just kind of got to let that thing flow. OK, I can't just force my Sims, you know, they got it. You just got to let it flow. OK, and I definitely think that I could see either Winter or Tara being lesbian. I really want to try doing a lesbian in my series because my cousin just got married. Whoop, 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 whoop. So I really want to uh, do that because I feel like that would be really awesome and I just I don't know I've never done a lesbian couple in my one of my series so I think that'd be really great to you know get one of my one of my girls to be a lesbian and I definitely think that Josiah could be both ways you know he could go for boys or girls he just doesn't really care I feel like he's that very open-minded guy I actually really like him in this is that weird y'all are probably like oh girl that is so ugly I, I know I know don't judge me uh, but I like it for some reason and I can't wait to see what why it looks like. I can't wait for you guys to see what why it looks like. I know I say this every episode, but you guys just don't understand. You don't understand the hype that is going to go on for Wyatt. I just can't wait. He's so adorable. Um, he's really the only one out of all the kids that actually looks like Damien. Like, this dude right here looks nothing like Damien at all. He looks like his mom. And uh, I don't think that Preston looks anything like Damien either. He looks like his mom, too. But why it looks exactly like Damien, like exactly like him. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's see. Oh, I'm looking forward for you guys to see what he looks like. I've already seen what he looks like. I took a little sneak peek because I'm a cheater. All right, so let's change his shirt. I'm just going to go for like a white color. Like I honestly don't care. All right. Or I guess we'll go for this gray. It's cute. It's cute. My voice sounds so nasty. Like, y'all, why didn't you tell me my voice sounded like who did it and what for? Like, seriously? Mm-mm-mm. I have to drink some coffee because I literally sound so nasty. Why didn't y'all tell me? <laughs> okay, so we're going to give him... I kind of like the ripped jeans on him. Those are kind of cute. I don't really... I couldn't see him in saggy pants. That's not his lifestyle. Oh, my gosh, my voice. God. You should have told me I sounded crazy. All right. Okay, so we'll go for this. And and you guys probably can't even tell the difference. But trust me, in person, you can definitely tell the difference between my voice. It sounds dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Okay. And I think I will just go for these shoes. He's actually really, really cute. Like, I love this outfit on him. I could definitely see Damien wearing this. But you know what? Who cares? Josiah's gonna wear it. All right, and I want to change his hair because I really don't like that. I thought I did, but I don't. Okay, let's try this one. Ew, no, maybe he just needs some facial hair. All right, let's give him some facial hair. 
All right, let's try this now. All right, we'll match it with the root color. Okay, is it just me? Or with facial hair, does he look like a registered sex offender? I know it's wrong of me to say, but doesn't he? Uh, just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't know, he does. <laughs> I'm so mean, especially if we gave him like, like, where's the mustache? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, this one, like, hello, hello. I'm coming to steal your children. Get in my van. I'm just kidding. That's totally not funny. Oh my god. Ah, I've been watching Nick dominates too much. He makes fun of everything. All right. Anyways, you guys. So I will see you guys when we get on into the game. Oh yeah. All right. So we are back in the game, and everybody is just kind of grabbing some cake. It is 7 p.m., so that means that everybody does kind of have to go to sleep soon. And what the heck is this girl wearing? Like, in all honesty, what are you wearing? And I think she just peed herself. That's disgusting. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and change her outfit to every day because I really don't know what she has on, and I'm too lazy to change it. Um, I don't really know what that is. I don't know why she has that on. So let's go ahead and change her outfit to every day. And she needs to go shower because she just freaking peed her pants, and I'm not loving that. All right, so we're going to shower really quick, and uh, I think Mrs. Winter here is just kind of chilling. We're going to go ahead and learn how to talk, because she doesn't know how to walk yet, so I felt like, you know, she could learn how to talk, and then we could teach her how to walk, and then Wyatt could learn how to talk, and he knows how to walk, so kind of switching up the game. Also, you guys said that you would love to see Preston and Paris move in together, but I really don't want them to do the same exact thing that Josiah and Audrey are doing. Only because, and I, I'm saying this because I feel like Preston and Paris are not nearly as close as Josiah and Audrey. Not nearly. They're not anywhere as close. And, um, you know, I'm sad about it. But at the same time, as I said, they're not close. And I don't think that they genuinely want to move in together. You know, I'd love to see Paris get married and, you know, get a husband or whatever. That would be really awesome since we haven't really been able to plan a marriage. I would like to be able to plan at least one of our children's marriage. So anyways, I think that Josiah and Audrey are going to go ahead and leave the camp. We are going to go ahead and find our own way. And we're going to leave. So Winter has just learned how to talk. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So Audrey's got a few things in our inventory, but I think that they'll go straight to Damien. So anyways, we are going to say our goodbyes. Let's go ahead and hug our dad. Oh, I don't want them to go. Don't leave me. Don't leave me with these kids. All right. But anyways, we are going to, hopefully Paris and Preston will be just as big of a help as Josiah and Audrey have been. We are going to give our sister a hug. Let's hug her since she's the only one that's really up. And Damien, can you like put the plate down? Like seriously. Thank you. Put the plate down. We trying to do hugs. Oh, I don't want them to go. You guys, are you guys sad? Because I'm sad. Oh, he's like, bye, little sis. You take care of the fort for me. All right, where's your brother? You got to hug your brother before you leave. Where is your brother? I feel like Preston's just like, I don't like any of you. <laughs> I don't care about any of this. All right, hug your brother. Because, you know, he's got to hold down the fort now. And let's see, is Audrey going to hug her dad? Come on. No, I can't be waiting forever for you guys. Like, seriously, can you hurry up? Just hug your dad. Thank you. And you hug your brother. We are good. They're skipping, and I need to reset them again. I feel like I do this every episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. It was nice knowing you. It was nice being on your weird roller coaster of women. Ew, why is she making that ugly face? gross anyways um where are the boys okay they're over there okay will you guys just hurry up and hug like you're making this way more complicated than it has to be hug hug your brother yay all right so it is time for our mrs and mr to go ahead and leave so we are going to uh let's see let's see real estate and services and we are going to move within this neighborhood and the great thing is is that we'll still get notifications to know how Audrey and Josiah are doing and how their life is going which is always always great so let's go ahead and uh, do our thing here so Audrey and Josiah are going to move out oh my god should we give them one of the dogs 
No. Okay, I love my dogs too much. I'm sorry. So it is time for them to move out, and it seems as though the house is getting emptier as we speak. We are already having kids move out, um, and weird and weirdly enough, we haven't had a graduation yet, but I guess that's just because we're moving out Josiah so quickly, and he would have been the one to, you know, have graduation and stuff, but obviously he has moved out. So we have all of their belongings and we actually need to go ahead and clean up this house because it's looking a little bit on the dirty side. So let's go ahead and just kind of put everything in the garbage here. And I want to start making some jam because I just realized that I bought this and I want to try it out because I've never actually done it before. So I'm going to get Damien to, okay, no, he's, you need three items of the same type inside of the granny. We have, oh, okay, we have to put stuff in there. All right, we could do that. So we're going to open the inventory and we are going to make some grape jam. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to make some jam and I think that Paris and Tara need to go ahead and go to sleep. Tara is going to grab a quick meal. She's just going to get some cereal and then Tara, not Tara, not Tara. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, she does need to go to sleep. And then Paris and Preston need to go to sleep as well. Did they finish their homework? No, they haven't even started crap well tomorrow's halloween anyway so we should be a we should be good anyways we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep preston is going to go to bed too and uh we need to take care of these freaking freaking things here how are the kiddos are they good yes they are squeaky clean yes all right preston actually preston don't go to sleep yet don't go to sleep yet put your brother in the freaking crib and then you can go to sleep thank you you're such a help, doll. You're such a help. All right. Um, how do we... All right, let's go ahead and go to sleep. And Mr. Damien is going to make his preserves. How are the dogs doing? Belle needs a little bit of attention, but we got to make our preserves first, and then we will take care of Mr. Belle, Mrs. Belle, Mrs. Bellamundo. We are making our preservatives. Look at that. They're so cute. How much are they worth though? Like that's the only reason why I'm making a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be making these for a lifetime. They're worth a hundred dollars. That's crazy. All right. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let everyone go to sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning when we. Good all morning, wake up. you guys. So you can already see that the baton has been passed over to Miss Fruity Booty over here, and uh, I'm gonna call her that from now on, Fruity Booty. <laughs> Okay, anyways, so yeah, uh, Mrs. Fruity Booty over here has been passed the baton, and uh, now she is, you know, taking care of the kiddos and doing what Audrey, you know, was was gonna do and stuff like that. So we are potty training Mrs. Winter here, and she's so cute. And uh, once we do that, we are gonna go ahead and put her in the high chair just so everybody can kind of do their thing, and uh, our imaginary friend is honestly getting on my nerves. We are gonna go ahead and feed Mrs. Winter in the high chair, and then she is going to head in the shower herself. Preston is still knocked out, and I think that our girl Harmony here is just taking care of the house. We need to change her outfit, though, because I'm really not loving that. So I will be right back. I'm just going to go ahead and change up her outfit a little bit, and I will see you guys in one second. I'm back, okay? I just had to quickly change up her thing. So we're going to go ahead and feed Mrs. Winter on the floor. This freaking imaginary friend, like, can you go away? And today is actually Halloween, so I don't know if we're going to celebrate in the next part or if we're going to celebrate in this part. I'm not exactly sure, but I do... <coughs> oh my god oh my god i just choked on an invisible wiener <laughs> no i'm just kidding anyways we are gonna go ahead and let um our girl here harmony she's gonna head to the store because i need her to do that we're gonna head to the store and buy some pumpkins for everyone so let's go ahead and do that and um yeah on to the store mrs harmony and uh we're gonna feed winter here I like her little her little hoodie. That's so cute. I wish I had that in real life. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. What is Wyatt doing? He is in the playpen, and I really don't know who put him in there because he should not be in the playpen. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and potty train potty train Wyatt. Um, and then, wait, wrong person. Oops. We need to go to Preston or Paris. Wrong person again. All right, we are going to potty train Mr. Wyatt. Hopefully he doesn't pee himself before we get the chance to do that because I really, really want to get him potty trained. All right, 
Uh, we are at the grocery. That was really fast. All right. So we need, what do we need? Pumpkins. That's right. So we need five, I think. Let me think. We've got Harmony, Paris, Preston, Damien, Winter, not Winter, because Winter's a toddler, Tara. So we need five. One, two, three, four, five, not six, not six to five. We need five. Okay. <laughs> there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I was right. Okay. So anyway, she's going to potty train. Why? Can you freaking go away? Like you were the most annoying person. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Cuddles. You're really annoying. I love you, though. You're a part of this family, and I appreciate you. Anyways, Damien needs to shower, and he is also on the hungry side. But we need to go ahead and take care of these chicks, because I haven't been doing that. So we need to take care of them. Let's play with the chicks, feed the chickens, and harvest the eggs. And then... We also need to take care of the dogs, but right now we just don't have the time. Hopefully Preston is awake. Yes, he is. He is too busy pillow fighting with his imaginary friend, you weirdo. All right, Harmony is here, though, so she can probably cook us up some dinner or some breakfast. That would be amazing. Can you cook at all? Do you have any skills? No, she does not, so she's probably going to burn our house down. But we're going to serve some waffles. And she's just going to make those. And, uh, yeah, potty train Wyatt. The Damien thing. is picking up those eggs for us. And I have no clue where we are in time. I'm just kind of going with the flow. But uh, if we are um, running out of time, then I will definitely do the Halloween thing in the next part. And they will both be pre-recorded together so you don't have to worry, girl. And Wyatt needs a little bit of social, but our girl needs to take care of herself. So she's going to go ahead and shower Oh my gosh, our whole bathroom is flooded. I just realized that. Let's call a repair technician. And actually, dad could repair it. I don't know why we need to call a repair technician if Damien knows how to repair things. But we are going to go upstairs and use our bathroom then. Just going to shower really quick. And then we will use the bathroom. Why does our bathroom look so depressing? Like, what kind of bathroom is this? This is the most depressing thing I've ever seen. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Preston is going to, he needs to shower too, but we're just going to give some affection to Belle here because I think she might need a little bit of attention. So we're going to play tug of war. And then dad needs to come here and repair this stuff. Let's see. All right, we're going to feed the chickens and harvest the eggs. And we can use the bathroom and then repair whatever this is. Okay. And come on, press it. Press, press. Uh, press, press. I think I've been calling him that this whole time, right? Press, press. And then Audrey is Audie Tot. And then Paris is Fruity Booty. <laughs> and um, we need more nicknames. Oh, yes. And then Audrey. Well, Audrey was Slice, okay, because of her jaws. But now she doesn't have those crazy jaws anymore. So I just call her Audie Tot. So, you know, we're good on nicknames for right now. And I don't really know what to call Damien. Damien doesn't have a nickname. He's not special enough. Only the special kids get nicknames. So we got, I don't even think Josiah has a nickname. It's just Press Press, Fruity Booty, and Audita. That's all we got right now. But, you know, the nicknames just have to kind of flow. Let's go ahead and, and then all the kids, every single kid, I just call them Tater Tot. That's exactly how it goes. But we are going to play tug of war with Belle. Is the food done yet, Harmony? Or are you just going to take the life, the lifetime away? Okay, so she needs to throw up. Did she just, did she leave food in the oven? Or did she even cook it? I don't even think she cooked the food. Are you kidding me? Um, all right. Oh my gosh, girl. We could actually just eat leftovers. Like, we have enough leftovers to last off a lifetime. Gary Yanez Racket wants to know if... <gasps> oh, my God. Audrey's brother just asked Paris out on a date. Oh, my God. Should we go? Should we go? <laughs> we're going to go. We're going to go. <laughs> we're going to go on the date. Because why not? So, we're going to go ahead and eat some birthday cake. And, um... We need to eat as well. We'll just eat some birthday cake. Everybody just needs to eat. And uh, we need to make sure that everyone does so. She is still... All right, we need to drop off our permission slips. But we're going to go ahead and eat. And then is the shower repair? Did he do it? Yes, he did. Okay, so then we're going to shower. And can you shower, please? Like, what are, you, what are you doing? Oh, my gosh, there's a fire. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I knew Harmony was going to burn down the place. 
I knew it. How did I know? I, I just knew it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Paris is going on her first date. I'm like focusing on the date and a fire is starting. <laughs> okay, Preston, listen, extinguish these flames, dude. You got it. No, but Paris, you're supposed to go out on your date. How are you supposed to go out on a date if there's a fire? Gosh, people are so selfish. <laughs> my Sims could die and I'm just like, I just want to go on a date. Oh my gosh, somebody texted me. Hello. Hi, what names the cheat you get in when I don't know what that says. Anyways, I think it's a YouTube notification. Okay, so who just extinguished the flames because we didn't? Who just did that? Who is doing that? I think Paris is or Preston. All right, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to replace this and we were asked out on a date. Are you going to go? No, she can't go on her date anymore. All right, well, we're definitely going to have to ask Gary out on a date again because I'm really pissed that she didn't go. Anyways, we're going to take care of everybody's needs. I wanted her to go on that freaking date. Like, why are you doing this to me? So in part 34, because since part 33, we're going to... Or wait, no, it is part 33, right? Part 35, we are going to go on our date with Gary. That's what we're going to do because um, Halloween is in the next part and we need to celebrate Halloween. Anyways, so we are going to do that. And let's go ahead and just grab some leftovers here. And everybody's just going to grab some food. We can actually... Firefighter, you're a little bit too late, don't you think? Seriously, like you're a little too late. Little too late. She is just stuck in here. There is a lot of danger in falsely calling. We didn't falsely call anything. You waited too long, you idiot. Anyways, Damien is going to go ahead and take care of his daughter here. How is she doing? She is just needs a little bit of social. That's fine. We're going to attack her with the claw and snuggle her and toss her in the air. We still need to teach her how to walk, but she is a little bit on. Damien needs to take care of himself before he starts doing anything else. All right. So we were invited to a party, but like, ew, who's got time for that? Uh, let's just kind of, we'll put her on the floor, give her a little bit so of social and then put her on the floor. Okay. And we need to eat some cake and Preston needs to use the bathroom. Can we do that? Please use the bathroom. Your imaginary friend is really getting on my nerves. All these imaginary friends just like, please go away. <laughs> like, please go away. Like, I love you, but go away. All right, let's go upstairs, Preston, before you pee yourself. Come on. We don't need you pee in your pants, Preston. You're too young and beautiful to be pee in your pants. Let's go. Improve athletic skill. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so we're going to go use the bathroom. Tara needs to shower. We're going to shower. And Damien still needs to do his thing, but he's taking care of this little one right now. Harmony is using going to sleep wait I thought she slept all night how is she tired weirdo anyways um but yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually end this part right on here because uh Halloween will be in the next part and uh we need to get our decorations together I want to thank you all so 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 much for watching part number 33 of the single father challenge and I will catch you all in the next part adios muchachos